I just want to help people because when I first came to U.S., I don't have anybody to help me. I want to give him back to the community. Karen is one of the second larger ethnic group in Myanmar. Right now, in Minnesota, we have probably more than 25,000 Karen population. My name is Kusur. I was born in Myanmar. Man, I wish I have a good memory of my childhood life, but uh, as far as I remember, my family and I always had to hide in the jungle because of the war in Myanmar. Myanmar has the longest civil war in, in the world. The Korean people and the Myanmar government, we've been fighting over 73 years. We have no human rights. I never been in school until I was 13 years old. I want to learn, so I decided to leave my family and I went to school studying in refugee camp. I decided to come to U.S. to get more education and to be able to help people back in there one day. When I first came to U.S., there was many challenges. It's very tough, it's very difficult when we move to a new country and everything's different. We gotta learn everything. I was afraid to go out in the community because I didn't speak English. I was afraid to tell people my story. Now at that time, there was not a lot of community service. We already have some Korean people in Twin City, but there was not many organizations or resources. So I, I want to give him back to the community. That's why I joined the urban village. Urban village is a place for the community to share their experience, to use the space for anything. We have a program for the youth, we have a program for adults. We run an art class. We have a music stuff. We want them to feel safe to share their life experience at the urban village. So my name is Jesse Fino. I'm the co-director here at the urban village alongside my brother Kusur. Ten years ago, I was a college student. I started volunteering uh, with a refugee resettlement organization. I was introduced to this family that had just arrived from Myanmar. This family, man, they just, they threw the doors open and um, they didn't speak any English, I didn't speak any Karen, but they welcomed me in and that family and I ended up buying a house together. It just opened a lot more connections and, and doors within the community and ultimately that is what has led to this space, the urban village. My name is Honey Moon. I'm from Myanmar, also known as Burma. The urban village is a great space to have for the community. It provides the newly refugee population with a place to feel a little bit at home and not only that but it does a great community outreach to um, the Korean community. <laughs> In 2021, February 1st, there was a coup. So the Myanmar military government, they took over the country. People protest on the street. The civilians have been killed by the, the government. The Myanmar military came to the Korean land and dropped in bombs, and thousands, thousands of people became displaced people without food, without shelter, without anything. Jesse and I went back twice last year. We were there just to be a friend, to be a family member or share our story and have fun with them. <laughs> <laughs> The Korean and the Korean community in St. Paul helped us raise the money and we delivered 
food and uh, other supplies to internally displaced people. There's a huge humanitarian crisis. We were able to get um, over $160,000 worth of aid into Myanmar, into kind of the most affected areas. Uh, I am with I am Kunya. Today we are at the urban village. We invited different ethnic groups to come and show solidarity for what's going on in Burma. We want to show unity. The Urban Village and I'm Gignon works closely to provide not just humanitarian aid relief to the IDPs of Burma but also for a newly settled refugee in the area. I think one thing that maybe our broader Minnesota community doesn't necessarily understand is that when bombs get dropped in eastern Myanmar, they also land here in St. Paul. What's happening in Myanmar, you have an intimate connection to. It's something that is happening and affecting your neighbors, your classmates, the spot where you get your groceries and Thai Korean food. Not only Korean ethnic group, many other ethnic group in Myanmar facing the same problem. So we stay one our community, our friend, to learn more about what's going on in Myanmar.